Hi everyone. I hope that you've been enjoying going through the Beatitudes these past few days along with me. I know for me it's been the sort of thing that's been quite transformative. Every day I wake up uh, thinking about the Beatitudes and it's kind of neat to wake up thinking about these things. And, and every day I take time reading through them even though I've been reading through them the past few days and it might seem redundant but actually it's the sort of thing where the more I read through them, the more that they speak to my life. And the more that they get into my brain and start to transform how I think. So in certain moments throughout the day, sometimes the first thing that comes to my mind is, am I, am I being me? Or am I really living into this identity that I'm poor in spirit? And it's interesting because other days, before I started reading through these Beatitudes, something else probably would have popped into my head from that. And so I know that the more I spend time with these, the more God is speaking through these words of Scripture and actually changing. And I hope that that's been true for you also, that you've been taking time to read through the Beatitudes every day, to let them sink in, to let God speak to you through the words of Jesus. And I hope that the blog and the videos have been a helpful uh, benefit on top of that, to think about these in some new ways, to think about how it would have sounded to Jesus' audience. So I hope that this has been good for you, and I, and I look forward to the next few days. We're about halfway through, so we've still got a few more to go, and, and certainly more things to learn and reflect on. Today we're, we're talking about, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Now, a couple days ago, we talked about blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And this is sort of similar to that. But I think the difference here is that, is that hungering and thirsting for righteousness um, seems to suggest an active pursuit of something. Blessed are those who mourn is recognition that the world is not as it should be. Hungering and thirsting for righteousness, then, is the active pursuit of that something else. I think of my household when I think of this. There are days, more than I'd like to confess, where things just don't, don't go right. Where kids argue and get on each other's nerves, where parents get upset at kids, where parents argue and get frustrated with one another. And in those moments, I think I find myself having a split personality, where on the one hand, I get involved in this uh, human depravity, this human ugliness that shows up when things fall apart. And I get upset or frustrated, the silent treatment, you know, whatever it might be. And on the other hand, the other half of me has this deep inner craving for something better. I hunger for, for our household to function in a way that's different than it happens to be in those moments hunger for Christ's righteousness to be present. And for me then, that means that righteousness is not like moral perfection. It's living into what God created us to be, where we are loving, forgiving, caring, serving one another, bearing one another's burdens, meek, humble, for in spirit. That's the righteousness I think that we should be hungry. So reflect on that today as we reflect on this beatitude. How do you hunger and thirst for that righteousness as opposed to something else in your life?